The rural farmers of Pacar Nepal have a great untapped resource and many flowing bodies of water. We're looking to use that resource and turn it into free power to move this water up to a storage tank that will later be used to fill a hydroelectric generator. This hydro ramp pump will hopefully be able to move 100 cubic meters of water, 14 meters, up a hill into the storage tank. We are doing this by using the water pressure coming through here and the water hammer effect. This hydro ramp pump gives rural farmers of Pakar Nepal a great solution to move the water from those streams uphill into the storage tank. We are looking to power a family of four and their farm through this ramp pump every day. They wanted to be able to raise water from the stream bed up to a height and then generate electricity from that water as they were watering their crops with it. So we're the first step, raising water up. Our solution, our portion of it, is water-powered pump. We're using the power of water falling down this white tube to raise water up above to the orange bucket up there. A big slug of water that's traveling down the pipe. It reaches maximum velocity at the moment that ball seats. At that point, it recoils back up the pipe, and we tap a little bit of that pressure derived from the recoil, and a little teeny tiny amount of higher pressure water is lifted into this line. So that this line is higher pressure, it's actually about four times the pressure of the original delivery and stuff. Yeah, it's just it's just MGH is the available power. Of course, right, potential energy. And so then... we're using very small potential energy, uh -huh. but a large volume of water. Okay. Every time it stops, it recoils a little bit. We harness that power to get water past this check valve here and into this pressurized line. One little sip at a time. About one tenth of the volume that's coming down in a given shot. But we're able to raise it four times as high as the, as the drop here. So if you can imagine in Nepal where they have very precipitous drops, they have tons and tons of unharnessed water power. We could move water very, very far from their streams with two moving parts, a very robust pump design, and water bar. No electricity needed. They just struck their demonstration, but they had a water tower where they can meter the water out of it. And these guys have a hydroelectric generator where they can spin that metered water. Um, as they're watering their crops, they can make electricity from what, we're, what we've given them for free. They can then make electricity out of it. No solar panels involved and dual purpose, right? So it's, it's watering the crops and generating electricity. Yeah, yeah. Time. But you can see, we've been running for two and a half hours. Yeah. That bucket's full five gallons in two and a half hours at just this little measly supply rate. Imagine if this was a ten times bigger pump or five times bigger pump. Yeah, yeah. We could the, the needs of our, our people in the car.